Sunday. <coughs> yes, ma'am. It's gonna be raining like this all day in my part of town, y'all. But check out this song. I think this is my first time hearing it from Corinne Hawthorne. She's a great artist, period. You still love me, just God give you that constant reminder that He's loving you. He's gonna continue to love on you and stay encouraged. I love you. Yeah, I, this is my first time here. I love it. So I am on my way to church. My way to church. Yep, to do rag down because I'm still rocking with my bun. <laughs> so I have my ponytail. Well, my ponytail. So I got this down, especially just to keep my hair laid down. And I'll take this off right before I get out to go to church. And plus, it's raining too, so I got my raincoat on as well. And I'm warming up my car. And I'll be on my way to church. This is what I'm gonna be doing today. Um, I had a really good walk. Yeah, we'll see. A really good walk. Um, I'm hard up on Deborah B. She's really. I love her content so far. I think I subscribed to her. Not even. Has it been a week? Maybe almost a week or a week. Um, it's exactly what I need right now and just forever more. So I had like a self-care mental walk. Um, listening to, which I will, I want to see if I can link it onto here, which is, uh, it sounds like Joel Osteen's voice, but like the message he's bringing and just the words he's using, it's just... I listen to it every day since my old co-worker friend well my old co-worker also a friend send it to me i've been listening to it every day just to jump help jump start my morning it's been working like mentally wise instead of just waking up like oh this is what i gotta do this is what i gotta do like you tired even and you just woke up you tired and stressed out because you're like on the go you're constantly thinking about what you gotta do instead of just trusting god so that's what i've been doing I started my self-care walk yesterday, as I saw, so um, I'm going to do it every morning. I'm actually going to um, go to the gym um, with my cousin, my mother, and my aunt. Actually, I got to ask my cousin, because she, cause she bring me as a guest, because she's a member at the gym. So I'm going to do that, but lately, I've been just taking like a 20-minute walk, and when I tell you it's helping like productivity-wise, mentally-wise, it's helping me upstart my day. While I'm walking, I'll listen to Deborah B. But before that, I'll listen to the clip my friend sent um, sent me just to get. It's just talking about worrying, just completely trusting God, and that's exactly what I'm doing. And I feel it feels great. Life is still gonna life, but it's just God showing us how to maneuver through that life. Um, yeah, so it's just like studying well i compare it to like studying for the test the teacher is going to give you what to study or what the test going to consist of and you feel more confident when you study for it you prepare for it rather than just taking it and you just guessing and stretching yourself out so that's exactly what i think about with life and god maneuvering our, us through it just he's helping us along the way along the way is up to us to take the right turns the wrong turns just like with a gps you have a destination you're getting to you're going to get to that destination regardless it may take you a little longer it may take you a little shorter if you can if you just trust in god's word and plan you're going to get to that destination at the time he wants to he wants you to get there he planned for you to get there but if you're going to continue taking the wrong turns making it taking the wrong turns equate into making the wrong choices you're still going to get there it's just going to take you a little longer to get there so thank you for that quick word thank you for hearing me for um hearing me say it so as i'm speaking it to you i'm speaking life into myself so i am on my way to church and i think i warmed up enough i'm gonna get some water a bottle of water because i didn't have my water today i have my coffee i have some yogurt I did have some chips, I ain't gonna lie. Um, I really need to eat something because I'm, I'm really hungry, but we shall see. So, I will talk to you guys later. I'll probably talk to you guys on my way back from church just to give you a, key, um, a quick combo. Then I'm going to enjoy my su su Sunday. Saturday was great. I, after my walk with me and my niece with our walk, we went in and watched a bunch of Christmas movies, a bunch of movies, period. And it was just 
great with both of my nieces we just enjoying each other's time and i really appreciate it and long for it because it hasn't happened in a while and i'm not just saying like i'm not family oriented that's not at all but just people get busy um my other niece is 17 she just want to talk to her friends be in her room chill and my eight-year-old niece yeah she's around me the majority of the time because i'm like her play partner it was like they have their own lives they have their other stuff they want to do so it was just i was completely grateful and i felt completely whole and great just watching movies with them having a blast so that's what i'm gonna do today actually my youngest niece is with her father until tomorrow so if my nie other niece would like to join me that's great as well so i'm gonna watch some movies <sighs> once i get home and just enjoy and trust God and love on him as he love on me. And I'll see you guys later. Be a light in somebody's dark place. Have this lay down. So I keep this car for him. Look at red. Hey, y'all. Sorry, I'm already home. I just pulled up. I'm just going to stay in the car for a little while, though, before I go in. Um. Yeah, I'm just vibing out. While I was driving, I'm just leaving church. <sighs> I'm getting in from church, which it was good. Just the word was encouraging. Spoke self, speak to yourself. Like what they say, you are your greatest enemy. You can speak yourself out of stuff. You can speak havoc over your life. And I'm not even gonna lie, I've been doing it for a while. When I say that, I'm like, I'm discouraging myself. Like, oh, you can't do that, or. This is stressing you out. Well, you basically got to deal with it where that can really affect your mental health. So I'm all for just encouraging myself now. I believe it's Proverbs 22 or 6 or 21 or 6. I know it's in Proverbs that whatever, whatever a man think it, so is he. And not just a man, like whatever we as humans or people think of us, that's what we're going to be because that's what we, we're feeding into that flesh. We're feeding into, oh, this is not going to change so you're not going to really help yourself or do stuff to change it because you're already in that mindset so yeah it was definitely good definitely well needed i'm just gonna go home sit by the christmas tree <sighs> i really want some hot cocoa i really do i'm just gonna sit by the christmas tree watch another movie continue my book which this thing is getting it was already good. It's getting really good. Like, the placement of it, I was like, like, of the story, I'm like, why are they doing it that way? But as you're going towards the end, you're, it's all coming together. Yeah, I need to check this book out. It's really, really good. It's Black Cake by Charmaine Wilkerson. And they also, I know it's a series on Hulu. I don't know if they already released it or um it's, it didn't hadn't come out yet but i wanted to read the book first i did the same thing where what it was woman thou art loose i read the book before i saw the movie um what else the lovely bones was good as well which that uh that story and that movie alone just give me the chills because it's like you never know what people are capable of knowing that it was the neighbor all this time and they i don't think they ever found out it's just it's sick it's really sick it's like you have to be very very prayful um listen to that discerning spirit listen to that gut when you have a feeling in your gut follow it and listen to it because it's just you never know how people are behind closed closed doors and at the same time you never know what people are going through so yeah, I'm definitely going to finish that. I have, I told myself, December 5th, I'm going to be done. It's December 3rd, and with the rate I'm going with it now, I think I'm going to be done by tomorrow night. Don't quote me on that, though, but I really believe I am. So, yeah, but I'm just really, I'm so, yeah, I'm so happy. Because I haven't always been feeling like this at all. I am, I feel relaxed. I feel soothing i feel like i'm floating on a cloud um and fully trusting god will put, bring you that way life's gonna happen there's some be some ups and downs but just knowing that he's always there by your side he's always in your corner for support and everything else 
it's just super super dope but um yeah i'm on the end today with that i'm going to the gym tomorrow y'all so i might show y'all some clips in the next video um so that'll be considered my 20 minute walk but as the day go as the week go by i'm gonna do that 20 minute walk because it's definitely definitely making a difference mentally and i know it would physically as well so thank you so much guys for watching always say be somebody's light in a dark place um and i'm also gonna leave you with this recording i heard on it was actually instagram by the artist erica campbell which is great it's great and uh, that's why i say always be somebody's hope be somebody's light because you just never know and on that note thanks for watching bye Hey y'all, I want to share something really cool that just happened. So I've had this amazing driver all day. I've been with Krista down in Atlanta uh, to sing at Spelman tonight. I was singing at King's Chapel at Morehouse. And um, my driver was really, really nice. He was nice earlier today. And when I got out of the car, he seemed kind of overwhelmed and said, what a blessing it is. But I didn't really know why. Um, but I said, you know, we'll praise God and shook his hand and went about my day. So he picked me up at the end of the day, literally the end of the day. Like he picked me up at nine in the morning and then he picked me up at 1030 at night after the concert was over. So we're in the car and he was just talking about uh, being professional and he didn't want to intrude, which I appreciated. But he said that um, that I being in his car was a blessing and I didn't really understand it. He said earlier this week he had been kind of screaming to God, like, where are you? I need some kind of sign. Like, are you listening? Are you paying attention? And um, and he said he felt like me being in his car um, was a sign from God. Now, I'm just being myself. So I'm on the phone and I'm praying and I'm listening to gospel music and Krista's in the car, you know, once we leave one of the earlier events and I'm praying with her and I'm talking to her. So by the time the night was over, he said that God met him in the car today here's what's cool this morning i prayed here's what's cool this morning i prayed and i said lord let me be a light to somebody let my life just let how i how i rock how i do what i do um be an encouragement to somebody now i don't know what me being in that car meant to him but it clearly meant something. And I was just so grateful um, that one, Jesus answered my prayer that I asked to be a light and I actually was. But when I tell you he was such a nice man, I mean, just kind. He was saying he was looking for a church home and he hadn't found one yet. And, you know, how much he loved his family. Today was his wife's birthday and he was working and uh, and, and tomorrow he's going to celebrate. But today had been overwhelming, but God just showed up all day long. I was just grateful to be a part of that. You never know who you're going to touch. You never know who you're going to encourage. And I'm, I really am, y'all. Like, my goal is to please God, right? It's for my life to be a light and encourage people. So when it actually does that, and I can hear it, I don't always hear the testimonies, and they actually tell me, man, it's so humbling and encouraging. So my message to you is let your light shine. You never know who you're going to encourage. You never know who you're going to touch. And if you allow God to have his way, you could literally be someone's blessing. Okay.